Hey guys, this is Harjit here. I hope you're enjoying different videos on my channel. Guys, a uh, few days back I was talking to one of my friends. He had just appeared for an interview. He is a beginner in, you know, uh, Spark world. Uh, when I say beginner, I am, you know, uh, he is uh, around one, one and a half year experience. So he was asked a question in an interview that uh, what is different between Spark context and Spark session. So uh, when he answered in a typical way, if you read different blogs on internet, uh, they will say that Spark uh, uh, session is just a wrapper on Spark context and uh, it has uh, bundled Spark context, Spark SQL context and uh, Hive, uh, Hive context into a single thing which can be accessed through Spark session. So he answered like that. Uh, interviewer wanted, to, wanted him to dig deeper into that. He asked uh, that, uh, you know, if, uh, then why it is called Spark Session. He asked questions like that and tried to probe him. When he came back from the interview, uh, my friend told me this scenario. Uh, you know, then I thought that uh, I explained him, uh, uh, you know, what was missing in the answer. Then I thought that I'll also make a video so that uh, it will be useful for you. Uh, so let's not waste time. Uh, let us start with our topic. Let us understand the whole uh, picture, uh, you know, we have one user, we have driver and as part of driver, we have Spark context, uh, you know, any command that I want to run on uh, my cluster on executors, I just pass it to Spark context and Spark context takes care of giving it to executors. So there is only single Spark context in our application. Now, imagine a scenario when there are multiple users and they wanted to use your cluster. They wanted to run their queries on the cluster. How will you handle it? So uh, every user wants to have its, his own table. You know, two users can uh, use the same table uh, name, but that table, they wanted to isolate uh, those tables from. So I can say, I want a table, test table. Other user also wants a table name, test table, and they want to isolate it. And uh, they want to have their own properties uh, on the cluster and they want to have their own, you know, uh, control on the test cluster, they, whatever they are working for that, they want to have a customized uh, kind of thing. So one thing I can do is that I can spawn a Spark context per user. Uh, this is what uh, Spark expected you to do in Spark 1.x. If we are using Spark 1.6 or 1.3, uh, to fulfill this kind of scenario, you will end up uh, creating multiple spark context and you'll uh, those spark, spark context will be kind of an isolated application on your cluster now uh, in spark 2 they have changed the approach so they are saying that we can have multiple spark session but uh, there should be only one spark context in this scenario every user can have his own spark session but there will be one spark context so uh, let me clarify this thing. Spark context represents one application. So there is only single application running here on the cluster, which is going to run everything on your cluster through executors. Every user has his own Spark session. They can set their own properties. They can have their own configurations on that Spark session. And they can also have their own tables, whatever table they create as part of Spark SQL, uh, they will be having their own copy and th those will be within uh, visible only within that own Spark session. It will not be visible to other uh, users until unless they are creating a global view. I hope uh, this Spark session concept is clear to you now. It is very different from uh, Spark context. Spark context represents an application. Spark session represents a uh, uh, user's session to that uh, Spark context. Okay, uh, let us also understand that why do we need Spark session? As I have mentioned earlier, user may want his own set of properties when he may want that you know uh, uh, to set uh, set uh, ORC uh, uh, vectorized query enabled or disabled. He may say that okay, I want to retry uh, if there is a uh, there is a executor failure for these many times. Other user may have different. Uh, set of properties that he want to set for himself. Uh, 
you can set these properties at application level you can set these properties at a cluster level or you can set these properties at spark session level and let user control everything uh, now the cluster and its resources will be shared across all the sessions but uh, every user can work in an isolated way and uh, you know they can do their own work in their own section let us understand this thing with an example so i am creating a data frame I'm creating a data frame then I'm creating a table named test table I can see that uh, the table is created I can also list that table from catalog now let me create a new session I can just say spark dot new session and a new session will be created then I can do again show tables on that new session it doesn't show me the table earlier if i am using the previous session variable it is showing me the table but now it is not showing me the table it is not even showing in the catalog section now i can create the same table with same name in this session also and then it will show me a table okay so you can also see uh, you can get spark context variable by just saying spark session dot context if you notice here that the hash code of reference object of both of these spark context is exactly same whereas if i do it do the same thing with spark session the session variable the reference variable is different it's different in first case and different in second case if i create one more session it will be reference referencing to another object so it can this depicts that uh, you can have multiple sessions in a spark application but you can have only one spark context in an application okay if i stop my spark context my whole application will stop so my spark context is running currently let me stop it It may take few seconds for uh, this cluster to stop. Cool. You can see that I got an error message and my Spark context is stopped and it is automatically trying to restart the driver. Okay. I hope this video was useful for you. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, any doubts, please post it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer that. If you have any suggestions, please post it in the comment section. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends. Thank you.